Hi there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop, and today I'm going to show you how to use layer masks to refine an adjustment in Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply a new layer so that we have something to work with. Um, I'm just going to grab a solid color layer, um, like a deep reddish tone, and hit OK. And now uh, I'm going to change the blend mode of this layer, and to do that I'm going to hit right here where it says normal, and I'm going to select soft light from the menu. Now, as you can see, this is um, pretty harsh over her skin, um, but the background looks all right. Um, if you turn it on and off, you can see the adjustment we made. I'm going to show you how to make this effect only apply to certain areas of your photo using a layer mask. So, the layer mask is actually this white box right here on your layer. To use it, you want to click directly on that mask to make sure that the selection is around it. And then you are going to grab, oops, you're going to grab your brush tool. So here my opacity is set to 100. Generally I don't um, use layer masks at 100% opacity. I like my effects to be subtle, so I'll use a lower opacity. Um, but so that you can see the way the effects work and how to remove things, I'm going to do it at 100% opacity today just so you can see the changes. So um, to explain a little bit about a layer mask, it's basically um, like a window to whatever is on this layer. And this layer is the reddish tone here. So this window basically is open when it's white. So anywhere that this layer mask is white, and in this case the whole thing is white right now, um, that effect is showing through on your image. It's completely visible. So to remove or to close this window, we are going to paint with the opposite color, which is black. So I'm going to make my brush um, oops, a little bit bigger here. So I'm just going to raise my size up a bit. Um, also when working with layer masks, I like to make sure that my brush hardness is at 0%. Um, this just means the edges are soft, which means the masking um, will be subtle. So, hope that makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and start painting this off of her, and I'm going to do that just by painting with black right on top of the photo. So you can, obviously this would be better at a lower opacity, more subtle, but I'm just going to show you how it works basically. So just sweep this anywhere you want to remove this effect or close that window. And then you'll see here, um, over in your adjustment, you'll see the little preview, and you'll notice that anywhere this layer mask is white, your effect is showing. And anywhere this layer mask is black, your, the, uh, the effect is removed. So, hope that makes some sense. I'm going to delete this layer mask and show you another way that um, it works really well. So, if you are working with like a texture or an overlay or something that you've added to your image that doesn't have a layer mask already on it, you can get one on that layer just by hitting this little button down here at the bottom of your layers panel. So, be sure the layer you want to apply a layer mask on is selected, and then hit this rectangular button with a little circle inside. And this will add that white layer mask directly onto that layer. So, um, the other way to use a layer mask is to hide the whole effect from the image so that you can paint it onto a smaller area. This saves you time so you don't have to remove it from a large portion of the image just to get it to show up on a small area. Hope that makes sense. It's also really helpful because this, by inverting this mask, so that, to do that and what that means is to make this layer mask black to close that window. So I'm going to hit Control or Command I on my keyboard. And what that does is that closes that window, hides that reddish tone from the entire image. So now this makes it a lot easier to apply this color um, only where you want it. You have complete control over where it's applied. Um, so to do this adjustment, this would be better if you're only wanting this effect to apply to a small area. So in this case, maybe we want it to just apply over her hair. Um, and remember, low opacities are nice. It's always best to be a little bit more subtle um, and kind of build up the effect, but for time's sake I'm just going to do it quickly and show you. So there's that adjustment, maybe we just want to apply it over her hair only, um, or maybe you want to apply it to her lips. Um, in this case I'll show you how it looks at a lower opacity. I'm going to hit the 5 on my keyboard and that's going to change my opacity to 50%. And so here you can just sweep it over her lips, again an even lower opacity would be best. Um, but this just shows you how to apply an effect to a smaller area. Um, this is great if you're sharpening your image and you only want it to apply to maybe the eyes or the hair or something. You can paint it into those certain spots only and it won't affect any other portion of your image.
So I hope that makes sense. Layer masks are a great way to avoid using the eraser tool. And it also helps you so that later on, let's say that you zoom in here and you realize that you made a mistake or that some part of her hair or the adjustment didn't reach where you wanted it to or maybe it went too far, you can refine this adjustment. It's always here. You didn't erase anything. It's just hidden a little bit. And all you have to do to get rid of that or to make it apply to more, maybe you decide you want to do it over, I don't know, her eyebrows. We're getting a little crazy here, but whatever you want to apply the adjustment to, you have the ability to go back, select that layer mask, and then apply it anywhere else you decided that you wanted this effect to be. And the same goes for the opposite. If I wanted to switch my color back to black, I can remove this color anywhere I decide I don't like it later. So this saves you a lot of time and a lot of trouble because your work is all right here on a layer mask. Nothing is destructive. You didn't delete anything and you didn't ruin anything. It's all right there. And all you have to do to get rid of it entirely is just drag it over here to the trash can and it's gone. And then you can start fresh. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, you can email me at morgan at morganburks.com or you can find me on Facebook at facebook.com slash morganburksphotography. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.